Good morning, Thai fans, and welcome back to Vadatron's Thai Chess channel. My name is John, and welcome to the Saturday Toy Show, episode 24 now, guys. 24, that is pretty good, and it's, I'm liking the attention I'm drawing. Guys, before I start this video, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Please comment. Please ding the bell. Guys, it doesn't cost you a penny. Honestly, it just helps my channel, and I hope you enjoy what I do. So today, so guys, we've got a, um, two live boot sales. Uh, we've also got a deliveries. I've got some deliveries. I've not had a deliveries for a while. So guys, enjoy the video. Hit subscribe. Stand by. So guys, it's Tuesday, and we are at the Tuesday boot sale, so let's hope we find some bargains today. Sorry, bad much for them. 
50 pH. Yep, I'll take them with. Yeah? Yep, thank you. How much are these in there, boy? 50 p. Thank you. Cheers, my mate. How much for him, mate? 50 feet. Cheers, mate. Two pounder bowl. The bow, uh, seven. Third pounder, third pounder. Silver So guys, I am 
just back from the Tuesday boot sale. This is for the Saturday toy show. Uh, guys, it's, it, wasn't, it wasn't as good as Sundays. I'm nowhere near as good as Sundays. But I did pick up um, a couple of interesting bits. Um, yeah, so let's show you what I, I found. Um, I've got most of it in the footage. and the, Honestly, guys, there wasn't a lot there. There was a stall you'll see um, in the footage. It did have a Star Wars scout walker and another Star Wars ship. The, one of the Star Wars ships was pretty bent up. You know, the, uh, the long front bits, it was proper bent. And the skate walk, I did try and stand it up and it just kept falling down. And uh, I, I just wasn't interested, guys. It's just, you know, it's just one of those ships. It's just going to, I've got about four or five skate walkers as it is. So anyway, you'll see that in the footage. But anyway, guys, let me, like I said, let me show you what I did pick up. So first of all, I picked up an awesome film. Um, I basically just picked up for the artwork, really. I, I think I might already have it. I'm not sure. But it was only 50p and it was Willow. It's quite a cool cover. It's only DVD. It's not Blu-ray. But, you know, there's not much difference, guys. Let's be honest. So that, that's quite a cool find. Um, you don't often see Willow out. Willow. <laughs> you don't often see Willow out in the wild. So I'm happy with that. Um, what else should I pick up? Here we go. So you'll see, guys, I picked up. I think I've already got this one, but it was, I think it, what did I pay? I think it was 50p again. It's just Greedo from the Atatics. Is it Atatics? It's something like that. I've got quite a few of them over there. All of the Death Star, so I'll just slot him in as the part of the Death Star battle. Ah, I found this guy. Um, again, 50p now i know it's one of the fantastic four it's got a bit of a bit of rub on his nose as you can see i don't know if that comes off i don't know if it's just a bit of dirt from the box i'll have to have a look it's in pretty good condition i'm pretty sure this is in the footage i think the bloke again 50p um i'm not sure if my son Callum would just take this off me or if not when i'm going to finally do a toy fair i will put him up for sale uh, I've not seen this one before, to be fair. But 50p, you can't go wrong. So it's just Human Torch, I believe, isn't it? Fantastic Four. So, yeah, pretty cool find. <coughs> what else is in my guys? Oh, guys, now, these are off the same stall. Um, you'll see me look rummaging through a box. No, guys, this is a piece of... It's nothing. I just picked it up. Donkey, for the simple reason being, I've got Shrek. So they, they're, they're a great combination. So I just picked it up for 50p. Um, it's probably an old McDonald's toy or Birkin toy. But 50p, I'll just stick them out there with Shrek. And, you know, they can uh, do their thing. Now, guys, I saw this. This is in a, a, it's like a packet. I don't know what it is. I know it looks like Snake Eyes. Yeah, it's definitely snake eyes. Oh, there you go. It's obviously another some sort of McDonald's or Bergen, so I'd say. But I just saw it and I thought it was pretty cool. Especially as snake eyes is one of my favourite characters. So again, 50p, guys. I should slot that back in the bag for now. If I keep it or not, I don't know. Um, I might sell it on just for a pound, double my profits, you know. I keep saying I'm going to sell this stuff, and I never do. Ah, uh, guys, with the Human Torch, I saw this in the box. Now, I know for a fact it's part of Doc Ock. What one it goes to, I don't know. But I know it's not the Secret Wars one. But it's got the uh, slotting thing there. So that's just a little spare. If anyone needs it, hit, hit me up underneath. And I'll just send it to you, because it's no good to me at all. But it's a good accessory for people that are missing one of these tentacle things. So I just picked that up with the human torch. Just held it in my hand and said, like, you know, how much for that? But guys, just a little Lego man. I believe it's something to do with um, Ninjago. But that will be nicked straight away by my son Callum. I know that for a fact. He will have that off me because he'll want it. <laughs> But yeah, that was just that. 
And guys, I found this as well. This was with the Greedo. Now, I'm pretty sure this goes to the uh, the Dragonfly fins. You know, the ones with... I, I don't own none of them. But it's in really good condition. And she only wanted 50p for it. So I snapped it up. But I'm pretty sure it is because you pulled it out and that goes at the top there. Guys, if you know any information on that, hit me up. Because that will definitely go up for sale. I can't see me buying any of the... Never say never with me, though. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really happy with that. That's, that's the most, I'm, I'm going to put that down as my, probably my find of the day. Because I'm pretty sure it does go to them. And it is in really good condition. So I'm happy with that. Um, I didn't pick up much more. Oh, that bag's empty. Let's go into the second bag, which has got hardly anything in it. So, guys, I picked this up as well. This is just a display stand. So, I'll literally just put some figures in there. Lady wanted the pan for it. I just snapped it up. It's just acrylic, whatever it is. So, I've got loads. I've got all sorts of things that are going out. Battle bees, blitting. He-Man Masters of the Universe Minis. Who knows, my wife might even nick it off me. You never know. But a pan, I just snapped out. Uh, guys, I picked up, I was up with this as well. Something's in there. Yep, I need that as well. As you know, I loved Mega Mog when I was at school. And I found this one today. Out at school. Uh, Ten Peter Blake wanted for it, guys. I can't wait to read this. Read these to the grandkids. I really can't. Um, I love, I just loved these books when I was at school and they're just really, really bringing back some old school mm, for me. So really happy for that 10p. I thought, what's a bargain? Would have paid a pound if you asked for it, but there you go. Uh, what's that one here? Yeah, I that as well. So I, I, guys, I, I, Dr. Roo, I loved it as a program, but the thing I love the most, like anyone else, is the Daleks. Um, I've just picked this up. God knows why I picked it up. Um, the lady wanted a pound for it, but I got it for 50p. It's just um, a, a Dalek rubber, a Dalek pencil, and some Dalek sticker things. There's shiny and shiny. I couldn't help myself, guys. 50p, I, I had to get it. Do you know what I mean? And also, guys, you see me looking at a... Uh, Badge stall there. There was a couple of badge stalls out a day. I didn't get to look at one of them because there was too many people around it. But I managed to get the other one. And I managed to find a Count Duckkiller. And also to go my Pac-Man set up over there. Pac-Man. So, very out with them too. Yep. So, got oh, one last thing. Now, I, I, right near the end, I, you, there was um, a, a, a comic stall there. Not a comic stall, but he had some comics. Now, a load of them were just something just Super League or something. But he had this one. Now, it intrigued me because it was a lot thicker than the others. So, and I love I love Britannia the program. It's about white, uh, Romans and the uh, Celts and all that. I looked at the back. And you can see by the artwork, it's a, um, a blooded up Roman. And then the price tag on it is eight ninety nine. So I knew it's, it's obviously a, a sort of a, a comic. So I asked him how much the comics were. And even though they're a pound each, mate, I'll just take the whole lot for 20. Well, I didn't want the whole lot, guys. All I wanted was this one. So I, I said, I'll take this one, please, mate, for a pound. So I've done it. I've looked up online and it looks like it's the first edition and they are going for about eight pounds on eBay as well, so not bad find for a pan. I will, I will have a read of it because um, I do love blood violence and Romans and all that. I used to love having battles when I was a kid, guys. Honestly, you just did not understand. And I really, really had a really great imagination. Do you know what I mean? It went, um, it was good stuff, guys. So yeah, that's the last uh, fit of the boot sale, guys. That is the Tuesday boot sale. Hopefully I'll be able to get to a Thursday one. 
Hopefully I'll find some more stuff so I can do add them together for the Saturday Toy Show. Guys, keep watching. Thank you. We do three for five, mate. Three for five. Yeah. Yeah, go. On. Cheers, bros. I'm going to shag it, but it's like two quid. Yeah, I'll take that. How much in the books, mate? Under that. The goosebumps. 20 pence or two. 20 pence for two? Yeah. So, mate. Right.
I'll tell you the price. They're about fifty pound each on eBay. Yeah, I've looked them up already. Yeah. Uh, I saw a white one. Yeah, you won't find them. They're rare, them two. Yeah, I did. Uh, I saw, I saw the white one for thirty-five. Yeah, you won't see these. These, they're, they're so rare. So guys, that was the boot sale pickups, and as you can see, I'm wearing the turtle hat. <laughs> so guys, let me see, show you what I got. Uh, it's not much, but it's toys, and that's what I care about. Uh, obviously, the wife, you know what I mean. But yeah, so let's uh, show you what I've got, and I hope you like what I've bought. So guys, first off, I'm going. I've got a little bit of a fin for Pac-Man. I've always loved the game. It was one of the first games I ever played on Atari. Ran me out one and ass. Um, and I've just always had it. So I've got, I've, I've, I used to have the ball game. I rebooked the ball game. I've got a little Pac-Man figure. And I walked it to CEX the other day, guys. And they had this. Now, I remember this game. I'm, I'm looking at the graphics now. And I'm thinking, whoa. And it hasn't got the booklet. But it's got the game, obviously. And I only wanted six pound for it, guys. Six pound. I couldn't resist it. I had to buy it. Um, I love Pac Man, and it's it's just my little Pac Man setup over there. So, guys, I just want to apologise about the glare from the light. I've tried to move the uh, the phone around, and it's, for some reason today, um, the light is proper glaring. Now, I've got no natural sunlight at all anywhere in the flat because they're all I've got towels up against the windows, flags. Anything because I've got toys everywhere, guys, and you know, sunlight ruins toys. So, we've got no ventilation in here, it's like a sweat box. Um, my wife does get the and I'll get the amp as well, do you know what I mean? But anyway, so there's no sunlight, so I apologize about the glare. Um, I don't know why it's doing it today, I'm, I don't know whether we have a problem, but today it's just being funny. So, there you go. So, guys, there's a company called Into the Verse Toys, if you don't know about them. Please look him up. It's a, a lovely bloke called Josh Bartlett. He's a really top fella. Um, I bought a few things of him now. And I picked up some of these. Now, I've already bought one of these. I showed you in one of my previous videos. And I've also got the, the uh, special edition power compact. But guys, I, I mean, I, I love these. I absolutely love these. And in my eyes, you just can't have too many of them. So, I picked up another Hall Trooper. I'll show the artwork of this one. There's the Sun Man at the back there. Yeah, so these Hall Troopers are mm -mm -mm, very, very cool. I really like these Hall Troopers. So that's one. That's two. Shouldn't really take all the bubbles, these really, because it's just going to go into storage at the moment until I get my own 
So that's free, guys. I got free brand new Hall Troopers. So I'm really happy about that. So thank you very much, Josh. Like I said, guys, into the first toys. Look them up. Um, very, very good company. And they do some good stuff at good prices. Um, I have a mad balls off them, so I'm very happy with that. Um, so, guys, one more theme for the Saturday Toy Show. It's another box. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. So, guys, I wasn't a huge Power Ranger fan, I'm not going to lie. Um, but oh there you go it's gone but I did like watching it it reminded me of my being in hospital when Power Rangers first came out I was quite young and I used to watch it and I, you know, I thought it was really good but I never really bought the Power Rangers toys but recently well, I say recently it's probably about a year ago now I acquired the uh, 7 inch figures now, guys, you know, uh, for the White Rangers, to get the chest plate is a pain, right? Everyone, everywhere you buy it, the chest, uh, the chest plate is gone. So, I saw this bloke on eBay. Now, it is the White Ranger, but it's the metallic White Ranger. But it had its chest plate, and I really, I just fell in love with it. Um, plus, it's got his weapon, which is an absolute bonus. So, obviously, guys, I picked it up. Although I'm having problems getting this bloody chest plate on in a moment. But, yeah, so there you go. Very, very happy with him. Very good condition. Go, go, Power Rangers! <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. Look at that. You can see the light shining off his armour. I love it. Absolutely love it. Ah. So, even though I've got the White Ranger, I've now got the White Silvery Ranger. So, I'm very, very happy with that. So guys, that is it for this Saturday Toy Show. You've had two boot sales and you've had my weekly pickups. Um, anything else you want to chat about, hit down in those comments, guys. Let's have a chat. Anyway, guys, this is Vader John's Toy Chest, aka John, signing out. Have a great weekend. Keep smiling, guys. Bye. So, guys, it's back from the boot sale thursday boot sale and i am sweating my gonads off guys it was starting to get so hot over there my mouth was like <sighs> um, <laughs> anyway guys it weren't a bad day i think i might have missed a bullet on a couple of things i'm not going to lie um there was a couple of wii games and um, what was a summer uh, sonic summer games winter games and the bloke wanted three quid each, or he had the bundle, like a weed bundle, for, I think he wanted 30 quid or something. But three quid a game. And as I was looking at him, a couple of blokes came up and said, um, are you looking at them games, mate? And I went, well, no, not really, because I, I don't really know much about the resale guys. I did look them up, and it was about £8 on eBay. And I think, you know what I mean, the time I've been on my own, um, do the packaging and all that. You've got to do postage costs. I'm not going to make nothing on it because no one's going to buy them. <coughs> I didn't check. I didn't check CX. I'll have a look in a minute. But I think I did miss out on the Star Wars stuff, guys. Have a look at the video and tell me what you think. Did I miss out on those money boxes? I've got a feeling I did. Um, I did go back to try and find them. Unfortunately, I went down the three aisles and there was people packing up and all that, and I got a feeling she'd gone. Um, if she's there again, I'll snap them. Um, I was only interested in the clone trooper ones. Though. If you look at them, they showed Azuka, um, the child, and the two clones. Now, she wanted £10 a piece, or she said you could take the fort for 35 If I'd have done the 35 guys, I'd have done them with money. I, I didn't take that much over there um, today. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. My voice seems to be going. Just my bloody luck. Um, but anyway, let me show you what I've got, guys. Um, Let's take this off now, guys. As I said, I just wanted to show you my new turtle hat. Two pound. Can't go wrong with two pound, can you? Turtles. And it's a actually if it's a man's head as well. So I'm well happy with that. So that will go with my silver server one I bought off Andy. 
So guys, let me show you what I've got. Now. Guys, now, I have not, I've not even got a Nintendo DS. And I know nothing about Nintendo DS games. But when the bloke says 20p each, 20p each, um, I just picked them up. It was Brain Academy. Is that oh, Big Brain Academy, sorry. And it, the games are in there. I checked them all. The games, the books. Oh, there goes the book. So I might be investing in a little DS. Um, My Sims Agents. Again, it's all in there. I couldn't believe it, guys. 20p a game. Now, I don't really get no luck like that. It's not always Scott that gets the... Uh... Now, this one I thought was pretty cool. Bolt, Disney game. Any Disney game's worth money in my eyes. So, I picked that up. And the last one, uh... oh, my God, I don't know. This is, I don't know. <laughs> it's got to be a girl's one. Imagine babies. But still... I just, I just gave him a pan. I mean, I might take a pan. Do you know what I mean? For DS games. Even if I don't even use them, guys, I'll just have them in when I, because I've got my games bit in the bedroom. It's a bit of a mess at the moment and nothing's working as per se apart from the GameCube. But <clears throat> I will work on that. I hope, guys, I don't even saw it right at the end. Land before time. 20p. It's an absolute classic film. The reason why I picked it up is, you know, the kids are coming of age and grandchildren will be coming. So, low before time, just, just for that nostalgia, you know, 20p. Guys, do me a favour. What is this? What is it? What's it from? I saw this. I think it was like 20p. What is it? What is it? Any ideas, guys, hit me in the comments. It's pretty cool. I do like it. I'll just stick it on, on the shelf next to the Predators. <laughs> but what is it? I just don't know what it is. Cool little figure though. What else should I pick up? Uh, you'll see in there guys, um, there was a stall. And he had some books. And I asked him how much the books were. And he went, what was it? Two for 20p or something. So I just picked this one up. This ain't part of it, but Graveyard School. I don't know if any of you know Graveyard School. The sales and that I picked up. And I also picked up a couple of goosebumps. So I've got this one. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. The only reason why I picked these up, and I'm going to be absolutely honest with you, is because Scott picks them up. And I just think they're pretty cool. Um, I'm... I'm the day will come where I'll start reading books again. Goosebumps, ghost come. I do like the films. So, until, you know, and uh, this one as well, Goosebumps Collection 3. It's just a thicker one. But it's got obviously three stories in it. But guys, I mean, it, it cost me 50p for them books. 50p. Um, so, Sorry, I was, to me, I was, that was just a bargain. I had to, I had to pick it up. Um, you'll see in there guys there was a bloke selling Star Wars figures no guns, apart from one had a gun a rebel figure had a gun uh, but he had a few a couple of stormtroopers he wanted £2 a piece I said will you take £5 for the free and he did guys like I told you before and again and again in my videos I love stormtroopers and clone troopers and if I can pick them up I will pick them up it's a free for a fiver. That's a bargain to me. Personally, I think that's a bargain. So I'm happy. That's what it matters to me. Um, and another stall. I found this Spider-Man. I think he was a panned. So it's just a Spidey. His joints are thick and all that. That's why I picked him up. He's got some sort of web thing shooting out of his hand, which is pretty cool. So yeah, pound for a Spidey, I took that. It's a couple of loose Lego figures, which again, like I said, 
My son Callum will just have them off me straight away. That's the way that goes. Um, what else did I pick up? What's in the bag? So guys, you saw it in the video. There was a stall. There's loads of this sort of stuff. And it was a panda bag. Now, I picked some up. I picked this one up because it's Mario stuff. Pretty cool. And you've got Luigi. You've got a Mario, looks like a key ring. Oh, sorry, it's not even on the screen, idiot. All this for a pan, guys. And then I've got a Mario. And then there's another Mario on a seat. I don't know what that's meant to do. But all that for a pan. I just thought myself, I'm just gonna find it in the corner now since I'm doing the video. The guys, a couple of weeks ago, I was at Dunton. No, sorry, it wasn't Dunton. It was the London Toy Shop Toy Fair. And I picked up some Clash of Clans figures. And um, well, this store had some other ones. It had the one I needed for a start, so that was the result. And it also had some other ones. Now, I don't know where this is, I don't know where that's from. It's just been thrown in a bag. Anyone let me know. Free to anyone that wants it. Just let me know and I'll send it to you. But unfortunately there's no weapons. But. Had the other barbarian. So that's cool. And there's another little fella there as well. It must go with the other one. Like I said guys. I don't know what they're from. So. Anyone wants to just hit me up? Yep, I've got the rock man. I do like these little Clash of Clan figures, they got like they're on display, so that's pretty cool. So that was that bag, that was a pan. This is another bag. So in this bag, there's this guy, I think it's something from Fortnite. A lot of crap. And I want it. So guys, this was definitely one of the ones I needed. Little skeleton. Now this, she's thrown in the bag. Now that goes to the witch that I need, which goes to the skeleton. So now this is a kin, but I swear that's a different colour kin to the one that I've already got. So that's absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, like I said, no weapons, though, on these ones. But for a panda bag, guys, you can't go wrong. Um, that's a little splinter. And then I've got these. Well, she's thrown these in. I ain't got a clue where they're from. And there's a little blue one in the bag there as well. But anyone that wants them, just hit me up. Right, last bag of this. Now... I, the other day, on the Tuesday boot sale, so you can see it's in the bag, it's all legit, and once again, the Bucky O'Hare figure, head's a bit loose on this one though, is in there. Obviously no weapons, but for that alone, a pan guys, come on, do you know what I mean? And then it had some sort of Sherwood Forest guy, and it's another pecker. So there's a bag missing. Hold on. Can you believe it, guys? I actually didn't buy the bag that I needed with the witching. Ah, so I've got I've got the uh, skeleton. The witch was there, I had, I had it. Oh. Never mind, never mind. Onwards and upwards, as it says. I can't believe it. There were such, so many different bags there, and I was putting them out. I honestly thought I pulled it out. Anyway, never mind. Well, so the last thing I picked up at the boot sale was some posters. Now, guys, I've got no room at all. 
but the fella that I bought them off is a really nice bloke and he was telling me that he ain't hardly sold nothing today so I felt pretty bad for him so I just picked a couple of posters up now these are from like blockbusters and things like that so I got Darkness Falls which is a bit cool I picked up Final Destination 2 which is a Again, a cool poster, and I really do like the Final Destination films. A bit gory, that's what I like. I picked up this one, Pirates of the Caribbean. This one's cool, The Ghost of Mars. Another good film, John Carpenter. And last but not least, I picked up a blade. So all those, all those five posters, five pound, pound a poster, guys. That I can't believe I I, I missed the witch bag. I, I'm really hoping I'll find her again. I was so when I found it, I was like, yes, I've got it, and I picked it up. I, I, I've got the barbarian, but I didn't get the bloody witch I needed. Oh, anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of the Saturday show. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.